Hey guys, this is Jer from Reap What You Sow. Yeah, I'm back up in these woods and I ain't set no hog trap either. I want, <laughs> I want to show y'all this. Look at here at this canal. So, uh, or gully or whatever you want to call it. So, we, we need to be able to cross this to get to the other side without having to go so far around, you know, to do it. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. And uh, when I bring my big boy in on the Kubota tractor and that fine bucket, son, if you buy a tractor, make sure you get a bucket. And you can't beat a Kubota. Yeah, Farmall, I said it. You can't beat a Kubota. <laughs> so, y'all, look at this gully. Or I don't know what you call it. Gully, creek, canal, whatever it is. Look at that. See how deep that sucker is? But you know what? That's nothing to fix if you've got a tractor with a bucket. Look at that. See, we ain't going that way. We ain't going that way. It'll probably wash out again, but that's all right. We got a bucket and we'll just shove the dirt back up in here and pile this up with however we need to to get this fixed. So guys, here he comes. I hear him cranking that tractor up. So he about to get to work. something in here but shoot we ain't got no cupboard I'm not gonna go spend all that money that we don't have on the cupboard so but he just pushed this dirt here and no big deal so looks like a highway coming through here <laughs> so guys that's it that's what we wanted to show you we wanted to show you what this little uh, creek looks like and um, show you what it looks like when he fixes it not much to it 
and uh this video is not sponsored by Kubota whatsoever because i don't know if they sponsor people but I, i'm not sure but i can tell you this much Kubota tractor is it so with the insurance program and stuff and if something happens to the tractor uh they replace it they work with you i mean it ain't like you gotta fight with uh people to try to get the stuff fixed and stuff hello everybody this is todd from Reap what you sow and down there is my hog tester <laughs> jared's down there in the trap guys this is a whole trap of my dad's been here for years we just come over here and changed the door he was a big fan of the drop door system. Well, the other door was a half inch sheet of plywood and it was rotten. Had to change it out. Just put that on, got the trigger all set up. And wire comes from the top down to the bottom. Got a little sapling going across the bottom where Jerry's hand's at right there. Going back to a pig. Basically the same system as all the rest of them. We're gonna try the door and see how it goes down. Go ahead and trip it, mom. I'm a hog, y'all. Door comes down. I'm caught. Now, I'll see y'all later. We're going to leave her in there. Mr. Willie, I got tired of her griping and making me work. That's Man. where we're going to leave her at. Mr. Willie, help! He's working me, working me to death. We'll leave her in there. We ain't got to hear her for a while. But guys, we're going to be on these films. We're going to be driving around checking these traps and seeing what we got in them and find out what we can catch. Hey, since I set this one in here, this is what we're going to catch the big hog at. Hey guys, Todd let me out the trap. <laughs> so we got it, the trigger set, but this is what I want to show y'all guys. Look at here. You see all that on this tree? You see all that dirt on this pine right here, the sapling? Tree. That's where the hogs has been rubbing on this tree right here. And look over here. They got this is where they've been waddling around at. Over here, I guess, in the water and stuff when it rained. So they've just been waddling right here. Or needless to say, rolling in the dirt and playing. But we about to pour the corn out, guys. And we got this trap set. All right, pour it out, babe. That's a caught hawk. <laughs> no, we can't catch no coon. Oh yeah, we we can make them fat. They can come in and eat. You know, they might trip the door. But see. This, these cattle panel, they'll get out. So what you doing now? I'm making my trail. Oh, he gonna make a trail. He's big on these trails. I'm like, I don't make a trail. They wanna eat, they go up in there. He put so much corn out, they get full before they even get up in the trap. Gotta feed all the coons. Oh. Gotta have enough corn out feed all the coons because the coons are going to come in here and eat the corn. That's just part of it. So guys, this is hog trap on wheels. <laughs> and it is because look, let me show you the wheels. <laughs> See that? That baby's got wheels on both sides. So this trap's been here a while. This one has a actually has a bottom in it. It's completely squared out. So they can't get out when the door is shut. But uh, I don't really care for the bottoms in them. Your real smart hogs that's been caught before, he won't go in this trap with that bottom in there. They don't like that. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can catch them, sometimes you can't. But you don't have to put no post or nothing like that around one with a bottom in it. We'll find out, we'll see where we catch the hogs at. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all and hang tight because we about to be in the hog business, babe, with four traps. We got four traps out for hogs. So God bless and thank y'all.
Ale 